Okay, we're going, so anytime you want to start. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Let me tell you how I got big feet. Now, when I was a child, I had delicate, small feet. And one time when I was 11 years old, I decided in summer that I was going to go fishing with my best friend, Delbert. Well, Delbert had this thing for fishing. Not just any kind of fishing, but cat fishing. And to go cat fishing in Michigan, you got to have special bait. Well, for Delbert, that meant special bait was something you made in the backyard with chicken guts, calf liver, and blood. And you would mix it up and put it in a pot and put it in the backyard and let it sit out there for days on end. Well, my friend Delbert called me up and said, Mike, we got to go catfishing down in Lloyd's Bio. And I said, sure, Dal, let's, let's go. And he says, come on over. So I went over to his house carrying my pole and I was just biking down there. And he says, go out in the backyard and get the bait. Well, I went out there very carefully and I dug around in the ground and I took out this big glass pickle jar from DeWitt's supermarket. And it was just oily, like sulfuric acid, except it was brown. And you could see little pieces of liver floating around in blood and so on. Well, it was a very hot day and we pedaled down to Lloyd's Bio and I had the chicken livers under my arm there. And we got down to the bio and I was really warm, so I just started swishing my feet in the water. Well, Dell said, Mike, aren't you going to use the bait, the special bait? And I said, you know, yeah, I should. You know, it is your grandpa's recipe. Well, let me tell you something about Delbert's grandpa. Delbert's grandpa was a catfisher from way back, and that was because at the turn of the last century, he was taking his horse carriage across Lloyd's Bio in the winter time, and he almost got et by the world's largest catfish. Now this catfish was something special. He was taking the shortcut across the ice, and then all of a sudden he looked up and this big catfish leapt up at him, missed him, but swallowed the whole horse. And of course, because it was Christmas time, there were sleigh bells on the back of that horse, and they got draped over the back of the catfish. And after that time, that big catfish was known as Jingle Bells. And Dell's grandpa always tried to catch grandpa, to catch Jingle Bells, never had any luck. But Dell was trying. So anyway, I went back to get the big thing of bait. And I dropped it, and it exploded all over me. And I was covered in blood and calf's liver and fago red pop, whatever else he was using. And I said, oh, this is really disgusting, and I'm shaking it off. But I did get a big piece of it, and I put it on a hook, and I threw it out there. Nothing was happening. And I put my feet in the water and started swishing them because I had a brand new pair of Converse tennis shoes and they were all covered with blood. Well, anyway, all of a sudden, it got real still. And then I felt something at my feet, like something was nibbling at my toes. And I looked down, and it was a catfish about yay long. And it just had a hold of my foot. And I tried shaking it, and it wouldn't let go. So I shook it a little harder, and it came off. Then I looked up, and then I saw it coming right at me. It was Jingle Bells, because that was Jingle Bells' granddaughter that I had my foot in her mouth. And old Jingle Bells came up, and she grabbed a hold of me and threw me up in the air. And I came down, and all I saw was this big, wide open mouth of Jingle Bells. And I just flailed around. And I got lucky, and I flipped over, and I landed on Jingle Bell's back. And then I grabbed a hold, because I couldn't swim. And I grabbed a hold of old Jingle Bell's, 
and I grabbed a hold of the old sleigh bells and jingle bells took off down the bio. And there I was, water skiing behind jingle bells. And you know, I was going so fast. Remember, I was 11 years old and I was just starting to hit puberty that the bones in my feet started to widen out and get longer. Like water skis. You see people ski barefoot, but I had like feet like skis. And I thought it was great until I looked up there and I saw the bridge. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? You know, there's, it's just baked all the way up. And that crazy fish is aiming right for the center of the bridge. And then over there, there was the county road crew on top of the bridge, striping the bridge. And they were pointing and looking at me, and because it looked like a tidal wave with jingle bells coming towards them. And they got back in their truck, and they started to go, and the truck tipped over. And it was a paint truck, because they were doing the lines on the pavement. And I came up there, and I figured I had one chance. I came up there, and just like at Cypress Gardens, I whipped off, came up the bridge, flipped up, came up in the air, grabbed a hold of the light pole, came around, and hit that pavement. And I, you know what? When I hit the pavement, I knocked over the paint truck, and I, my feet were full of paint, and I was just skidding right down the center of the road, leaving these two yellow streaks right down the road. And as I went down the road, my feet were getting hotter and hotter, and they were getting smaller and smaller. And then when I finally stopped and they was able to run it out, I had size 13 feet just like I have today. And that's how I got big feet. <laughs> okay.